Hello, my name is Genghis John, and welcome to Let's Play Morrowind. I've played this game many times, and it has really led me to falling in love with the Elder Scrolls universe. Ultimately, it's probably my favorite TES game, maybe my favorite PC game ever. Uh, it's definitely up there. I first played it on the original Xbox, actually. No, that's not Xbox One, even older than that. Uh, and I got, got it in a used collection from a friend, so I kind of discovered this game in the Elder Scrolls by accident, really. Uh, and even though there are a thousand medieval era fantasy games out there, the setting and gameplay of Morrowind is unlike anything else. Giant mushroom towers, silt striders, cat people, flying? I mean, yeah, it's just... It's still recognizable, right? It's, it's familiar. There's castles, there's elves, there's sort of like Roman legionnaires running around. Uh, but it's, it's more unique than not, for sure. And the gameplay mechanics are insane and fun and lend themselves to just really memorable adventures. And even though every time that you play it, of course you've played it through once, you know what the story is. But it's a game that you can just play over and over and over. So, here we go. taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. I believe that was his were talking to us. Um, more Wake up. Later. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Okay, so in this playthrough, I'm going to be playing as a Khajiit named Spooshikins. Why Spooshikins? What kind of name is that? What kind of name is that? Um, it's just one of those weird things that like my family does, and everyone's family does something weird that literally no one else on the planet does, uh, but we refer to cats as spooshies. I don't, I don't know. I told you it was weird. Well, Jib, his I name's no, no, no better. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Maybe I'll see you around Quiet. later. Quiet. Here comes the guy. This is where you get off. Come with me. Where are you looking at, bro? Wasty, okay, whatever. Later, Jib. Cool looking ship. Lots of room. Good night. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Again, where are you looking? Oh, fresh air at this last. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. All right, thank you. You are much nicer than that other gentleman. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. All right, so like I said, we are going to be a Khajiit. Uh, does it give a little explanation? No, it does not. Khajiit are basically cat folk. Uh, we're going to be playing as a female Khajiit. How do I? Okay, that's how we rotate. Uh, what? Face? Do we want? That one looks pretty cool. That one looks most like a house cat. Ugh. Uh, not a lot of options. So let's do that one, I guess. Um, 
hair or ears. That's cool. Got some jewelry. Uh, let's do that. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Whatever you say, sir. Okay, here we go. Character creation. Uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Alright, so I've been debating either making my own class or picking from a class list. Um, I really like the the class features of the early Elder Scroll games. Um, Skyrim, of course, doesn't feature classes, but I think it, it's just a really nice sort of touch to the character creation. It really makes you like... It gives your character both strengths and weaknesses um, as opposed to just sort of doing whatever you want. So, uh, because I just said how awesome the class system was, it would be hypocritical of me to generate my own class, so pick from class list. We are going to be an agent, methinks. Um, bum bum bum. Man, if I could just change, like, two or three of these. Ah, uh, heck, we're going to make our own. <sighs> on a clear day, you chance oh, upon no, a strange animal. Oh, no, that's not what animal. I wanted. It's leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. It's cool that he what reads it. What do you do? Um... Jeez, I don't know. I can probably just back out of One this. One summer at... Very good. Yeah, the so I got thief out of all of that. I think I'm going to change it. And what would that be? Um, I thought a lot about this also. Uh, the tower has some really interesting abilities. So the spell, uh, detect animal, detect enchantment, detect key... Obviously, for someone who does a lot of sleuthing, that's probably good to have. Uh, and then Tower Key, open 50 points on touch. That's going to break open most locks. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Uh, we are going to change our class. Okay, so this is the class that I ended up generating you can see my list of major skills minor skills uh fairly close to an agent that's what i had in mind uh but with some tweaking as far as the uh class name nine lives so i've got a sort of uh backstory for spooshikins and it sort of goes something like this so spooshikins is of course from elsewhere being a khajiit and she was part of the nine lives gang uh one of the sort of most powerful gangs in in elsewhere and she was a very high ranking official in this gang probably like second or third from the top uh but then a rival group came and attacked the nine lives gang killing everyone except for Spooshikins, but this rival was able to frame Spooshikins for what happened, uh, landing her in the Imperial Prison where she has been kept until Uriel Septim's summons. Okay, so if we look at her stats. Health, that is not very good. 35 out of 35. Um, though my stats, starting with a 60 agility, that's quite good. I'm going to be able to dodge a lot and hit things with my uh, short blades and such. Speed of 50 is also good to start with. Other than that, uh, I'm, I'm going to be sort of weak when it comes to fighting, though. Strength only 30, so it's not going to deal a lot of damage. 
and then willpower I'm gonna be getting hit with spells mercilessly and my minor skills are kinda terrible alchemy and enchant only 15 unarmored um, so I only picked unarmored because Khajiit and Argonians aren't able to wear any boots and uh, pretty limited options as far as helmets go but uh, yeah that's where we're sitting on those and yeah so we are ready to get started on our adventure stats menu cool show your papers to the captain when you exit and you release me all right we'll take that there we are there's spooshikins my shoes I can't wear continue through to the next building and talk to Salas Gravius cool um aha uh -huh, I see a lot of stuff we can steal here. Can you quit this dagger real quick like? <laughs> stabby stabby. We're just gonna take some of these ingredients. Ooh, that's nice and expensive. Um bread. Let's get this bread. And steal all these alchemy ingredients. Let's try to bust into this safe, shall we? Yeah, easy as pie. 31 gold. Uh, man, yeah, I'm gonna be taking all this silver. Because that is worth some dinero. We'll take that. Anything worth anything, we'll snag. Let's clean this place out. Yeah, sure, why not? Knife and fork, too. Uh, anything down this way? Take that, and that, and that. Alchemy, uh, it's not, you know, a major skill, but it's one that you can level up pretty quickly with just practice. And it's one of those abilities that is good to know something because you can abuse it pretty easily. Um, yeah, magic menu, sweet. Let's do that, why not? All right, let's finish this intro sequence. Whoa, dude, yeah, I, yeah. Your papers, please. Looking a bit sus. All right, let's do some voices. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. Oh, really? I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Yurio Septim VII himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man or woman, which I am. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties, instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cossides in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Cossides. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as he would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. Okay, so 87 gold, it's not that much. Uh, and then directions to and a package for, let's see. Uh, duty zero septum coup coup whatever so I of course having played this game uh, know all about what's going down Spooshikins the character however has no idea uh, but the Emperor himself is interested in us for some reason. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Oh, hello, Fargoth. Are you the one that boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of the day. 
Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargoth ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Um, ooh, what are we gonna do for Spooshykin's voice? Um, I do a poor man's Smeagol, so let's give that a try. Oh, yes, I found it, precious. You take it. You found it! Amazing! Thank you, thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Awesome, because I need to get some supplies. Sell off some loot. Always good to have a friend. Invaluable. Where's that slave? Oh, oh no, really? yeah. Dunmer's keep slave. And I'm a Khajiit. That's like their favorite race to take a slave, so I you must piqued my interest. be careful. Please, share your thoughts. Oh, I'll share more with you than my thoughts. Welcome to Ariel's Trade House. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear more about our most popular potions? Our most popular scrolls? Let's just barter, shall we? Okay, so I don't need shoes at all. What else do I not need? Uh, this book, or that, or that, or that, or either of those. It's actually better to sell things separately, get more money for it. So if it's worth anything, uh, split it up. Doop doo, we're gonna hang on to all of these alchemy ingredients. I really don't need the directions. Um, cool, so gear. Let's do value one, good lord. Okay, let's do, hmm. We're gonna pick up a bow and some arrows. Do quite a few arrows because I kind of suck at it right now. God, 87 for 52 arrows? That sucks. Oh, but it's still sold. Okay. Whew. Um, do we want a dagger or a short sword? That is the question. I'm leaning towards short sword. A, because I already have a dagger. I could get a better dagger. Uh, ooh, there's a steel short sword, so... 12 max, 11 max. Uh, yeah, that's way better. So we're going to buy that. We're going to not sell that yet. What else you got for me, bro? Should probably pick up some armor, right? That would be wise. I probably can't wear those boots. So we'll just sell those right back. Um, cool, I guess that'll do it for now. Let's see, that's armor rating 6 and 13. That's way better. So we'll keep that. Ah, but now I owe money. Whatever. Let's just bargain down a couple offer refused. Still refused. There we go. Alright, let's do some adventuring, shall we? Some tr frolicking through the forest. Gear up real quick. Didn't mean to take that off. Uh, so let's try our bow and arrow first. Uh, we're going to be taking on some pretty harmless critters. So, bow? so can afford to miss some shots. So I am 
looking for something very specific out here. I have a very uh, clear goal in mind of what I'm trying to find, and you'll just have to find out what it is when we stumble across it. We also need to kill some stuff so we can level up. So what will be my first victim, I wonder? Find a nice juicy mud crab or something around here. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Shabuski, we found this wizard fall from the sky tar heel three scrolls of Icarian flight which fortifies acrobatics a thousand points that is insane ooh an iron spark so that's a long play bill unfortunately we'll take his extravagant clothes and his pocket change and we're gonna take this book and we got some money looks dark already no it's only 11 a.m um so that's actually what i was looking for found that right away now let's do some hunting on some poor hapless creatures of the swamp there's a little wormy worm over there Gonna sneak up on it, pop, pop some arrows into its booty. Yeah, miss. Again, miss. While he's like shooting way off, you can see where the arrow goes. Got one hit. Oh, he's chasing me. You should run. That's that's what you should be doing. Two hits. Alright, and now that he's in close, we are going to mess him up and make him regret the day he ever charged at me. And I got my arrows back. How about that? Ooh, a scrib. They do have this nasty paralyze ability, but as long as we keep our distance, we should be okay, I think. One hit. One shot. One hit. That's how it's done. Another worm. Miss. Miss, but now he's chasing after me. Uh, uh, come on, one more. Uh, uh. All misses, dang. Alright. You gonna at me, bro? Cash me outside, how about that? Dagger to the face. Oh, come on. You took way more damage than you should have been able to. Oh, sweet. Some mud crabs up there. Oh, what? Random dead body in the marsh. Uh-oh. Who is this guy? Processus Vitellius. 200 gold, wowie wow wow, and tax record, can we read that? Looks like just a list of who all owes what far friend Fargoth, 111 breaks, that's not good. Uh, dang, what do we do about that? I don't know. Probably turn it in, right? That would be the correct thing to do. I don't want to tangle with a scrib at short range. Come out, come out. Face me like a bug faces a man or a cat. I am just wasting all of these arrows that I got with my free money from the Emperor. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh yeah, I really don't want to get paralyzed there. Uh, we'll just 
take him out nice and easy easy peasy 1 p.m. still lots of time here's another worthless mud crab who actually managed to hit on both shots what do you know about that can I sheath no just wasted an arrow but whatever um, cool. Let's see if anyone knows what to do about this tax collector guy. You're Let's a guard. Hear. You know things. Uh, you don't know things, okay? Can we hurry this along? Uh, you don't know things. Who knows Go things ahead. about this guy? Any time now. Uh... No one, nothing, dang. What do you know? Nothing. I would imagine that these guys would know something. Census office, they're all about records and stuff. Murder of Processus Vitellus. Murdered? What a waste. Processus was a good man. I had been wondering why we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, these are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he'd collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Ooh, what does Spooshikins do here? Do... Do I do the right thing? turn this money in or do I keep it for myself I feel like I'm a gang member so I'm gonna keep it for myself no it figures I suppose well thank you for letting me know what had happened yes yeah friend. yeah all right so now we got a little extra spending money that we are going to spend on some new gear what a bro Barter me, son. This cool hat, robes, and shoes. This fancy pants sword. You want it? I got it. I don't need these alcohols. Uh, I don't need this book. This tax record. I am going to keep all the rest of this other stuff, though. So, yeah. What are we going to buy? We're going to buy some more armor. What you got in the way of potions? Fat lot of nothing. About what I would expect. Just alcohol. Everyone in this town is a drunk. Um. Um, CV intervention is good if I find myself in trouble uh, we're gonna buy a couple of those and that is probably it how did the cost jump up so high already I sold you all this stuff bro all this stuff Ah. <sighs> Okay, we're going to sell you that also. And then I guess I really shouldn't be afraid of buying things right now. Ooh, let's buy a couple of those. Like two of those. And like one of those. And I'm almost out of money already. Good lord. Can I buy one of these? We'll see. Yes, I can. How are you? I'm doing alright, thanks for asking. Outlander. I need some more moolah though. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like to I'd like you to help me recover some gold. 
That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. I already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Uh, hmm. Fargoth is my one and only friend right now. Do I betray him? I need money, so Spurshelton's will do it. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all of Sedanine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Awesome. So now we have a quest, or more like a task, a job. Is it dark enough? I don't know. I don't know if Fargoth's gonna be running around yet. Ah, here he is. Sneaking around. Come on, go away, guard. Let him do his thing. Does he see me? Does he know? Nah, he don't know. We're just gonna watch where he goes. He's gonna dump all this crap right into that little stump there. Alright, and Operation Screw Over Fargoth is a go. Wow, I, I heard. Hmm, hmm. Hollow tree stump. Oh, look at that. You know what? I'm gonna leave his ring for him, though. I'm just gonna take his money. But I'll leave the ring. Maybe we can still be friends. I was able to buy an alchemy mortar and pestle, so we can try and get some potions popping up in here. You were supposed to find Fargoth's hiding place, were you able to? Yes, Urshikens was. You found his hiding place, that's great. Tell you what, I'll give you a hundred gold and you can keep anything else that you found in there. Thanks for your help. Alright, so an extra hundred gold. That puts me at 166. Uh, what can I do with that? I'm not sure I need much more than anything except maybe arrows at this point. Let's fix our stuff. Jeez, we already used like two and a half of Make our a quick outlander. things. Do you sell stuff? No, you don't. Alright, so now that we got some cool new gear. Oh yeah, uh sorry dude. Anything I can do, I am Uh now I got some new gear, some stuff. We are going to go practice our skills and take out this slave smuggler's cave up here. Uh, should be pretty chill, not too difficult. We'll see though, I'm still only a level one. Anything can happen. 
let's do some prep work. We're gonna get that ready. And we are going to take a restore fatigue potion. Alright, there's our first victim. We're just gonna. Ah, she saw me already. Dang. Okay. Come at me. Mm, right to the chest. How does that feel? Now you Ow. die! Okay. She's down. I did not want to use that, so that sucks. Slave key. So, being a Khajiit, we gotta be careful because these Dunmer like to take Khajiit as slaves. And they can really just take anyone as slaves at any time. This Dunmer culture is very interesting in that way. I see that one Khajiit in here. Alright, go for You wish to speak? Alright, goodbye. Oh, call. Banals. What kind of names are those? Good luck, y'all. You should help me kill these guys that enslaved you. That would be the cool thing to do. Okay, so I think I want to draw this guy out. Even though I'm probably going to miss, I can separate him from the rest of his buddies. Come on, let me get one hit. Ooh, yeah. He's going to start throwing spells. You throwing spells, bro? Ooh, I'm shooting your spells out of midair. How does that feel? I can't see him. I would like to see him. Oh dear. Now you're probably gonna hit me. He's coming at me. Let's go blade to blade, son. Pretty sure I can take you. Uh. Not too much happening here. Right, looks like we got some sort of water tunnel. We got a lady here. We're gonna sneak up on her all stealthy like. This is uh, dang. If I can get up you in here, hopefully die. she'll be able to hit me with her distance weapons. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, throwing stars. That's cool. I like that. How much damage do they do? Two to three. Bows of one to ten. Uh, some probes. That ain't worth nothing. We'll take that. And we'll for sure take that. That's some nice, valuable loot. <gasps> Moon sugar. They're precious. More moon sugar. Uh, expensive ring. That's cool. We'll grab this stuff. Because it's free. Pillows. <gasps> Skooma. Yes. Alright, we just hit the mother load. Uh, what's down yonder this way. Oh, I'm such a slow swimmer. And I can't see. That's scary. Levitate. That's worth. Trapped. Here's a rat. Where'd you come from? Die, please. Let's 
looks like some uh, rat meal leftovers over here. Follow the trail. Oh, hey, here we are. Um, cool, I think there's yet another tunnel. There's also these crates. Good stuff. Nice expensive alcohol, some more moon sugar, some pocket change. Just a whole bunch of stuff we can sell. Saber, that's cool. Fishing pole and a basket. Uh, don't run out of breath. Ah, <gasps> uh, sweet, and we got a chest. Hopefully it's got something good and it's not... not locked. Quality restore and two gold. That'll do, pig. So now we are gonna head back to town, sell our loot, and then be on our way to Balmora. All right, we are gonna have to dump our moon sugar and our skooma. Because traders you don't my like interest. that. Please, share your thoughts. Man, do I have some good stuff for you. Alright, so just dumped off all the loot at Errol's Trade House. We're sitting at 207 gold. Uh, mainly just bought some more hammers. And really, that was about it didn't have all that much stuff to sell not that much valuable stuff anyways uh so next time we are going to be on the road to balmora to meet up with chaos Cassidy's and get this get this operation underway so thanks for watching and i will see you on the next episode of the adventures of spooshigans